report card issued in 2014 by Active Healthy Kids Canada that assesses the overall physical activity levels of Canadian children aged 6 to 12 years, Canada received a failing grade of D-. The report indicated that while participation in organized physical activities outside of school was quite high, not all kids can afford to participate in such activities. However, kids in general tend to fill any free time with watching TV or other screen time instead of being active. So Dr. Belcastro actually started the King Kids program here at York University. All King Kids is about is ensuring that the kids are having fun. King Kids is modeled after a guided active play program. So guided active play, GAP. The first component is to make sure that for every five kids that we are playing with, um, there's one kinesiology student volunteer that plays along with the kids. When the big kids are playing, the little kids feel more um, involved and they feel special and they want to play more. The active component is uh, how we ensure the intensity level of the program. So we've actually developed games and we've quantified these games based on intensity levels. So we know that if we play this specific game, for example, dodgeball, we're gonna get maybe a moderate to vigorous type of activity. If we play fishes and whale, we know we're gonna get that vigorous intensity level. So it's kind of neat how we use the games to decide how active the session is going to be. The last component is play and in my opinion, most important because it's important to have fun. So we wanna make sure that we're playing age appropriate, fun games, um, and if they're not having fun, they're not gonna play and they're not gonna be active. We do a lot of fitness testing as well for that pre and post uh, component. Basically what that entails is we do height, weight, skin folds, circumferences, grip strength, so we're measuring strength, aerobic power, and when you collect data, you kind of analyze it and you can kind of see, okay, with this year, what we're lacking is whatever it may be. And then the next year, what we do is develop a program specifically for that missing gap or, or, or whatever it is these kids um, actually need within this specific community. This program is actually uh, beneficial for the, uh, the parents as well. So what we do is um, we develop kind of a physical activity report card. So at the end of the camp, generally it's about seven weeks that they're with us, um, we, we let the parents know um, how active their kids were, but also some of the health and fitness status so their body weight and their aerobic power so all those things that we collected kind of lets uh, the parents know how their kids are doing in terms of physical activity. Originally um, we started working with the Driftwood Community Recreation Center and they had three different programs so one at Driftwood, one at the Gosford School and one at the St. Augustine School so the, these are just the three main programs that we have worked with in the past. The challenge in expanding the program really is that we really rely on those kinesiology student volunteers. Um, they're very important to the King Kids because they provide that five to one ratio. We have worked in different communities as well. Uh, we, we started working in Markham, so we do an after school program. Um, but Markham is kind of special because it kind of is uh, the direction that we want to take King Kids in. In Markham, what we did was we trained the high school students and they helped us lead. So uh, eventually what we're looking to uh, do is train the trainers so um, they can kind of uh, lead for us. So we make sure that um, they're able to do what we do in this community and other communities. We do have a number of volunteers and with this large group it's really important to make sure that every time they're doing the assessments they're getting the same values, right? This is this is for repeatability and to make sure that the values they are collecting are valid because at the end of the day this is for research purposes. They are very excited to participate. Each year we have about 80 or so volunteers so just to give an idea of how many people are actually involved. So uh, it's beneficial for them because um, they can uh, kind of gain experiential learning. It gives them 
life skills, you know, showing up on time, taking initiative, being responsible for people other than themselves. I think these are great skills that you need to have when you move on to the workforce. And the ultimate goal, of course, would be to continue the King Kids program. I love it so much. I can't begin to tell you the feeling that I get when I walk into the gym and the kids run up to me and they're like, the sound. They're so excited to play and they're so happy to be there. It makes me happy to be there. They make me feel special. Although I'm there to make them feel special, they make me feel special.